Overall occupancy at the parallel healthcare system is at 34%. Principal Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Miriam Abdul Richards, during the Health Ministry's COVID-19 press conference on Monday, said occupancy levels have remained under 40% since July. Ward occupancy is at 32%, meaning that 3 out of 10 beds across Trinidad and Tobago are currently occupied. ICU is currently at 66%, and although this may appear to be a decrease, um, the overall or the average ICU occupancy for our most ill patients is, uh, is over the last month has been 80%. Dr. Abdul Richards confirmed that occupancy in the high dependency unit is at 38%. And another 78 people have tested positive for COVID-19. The Ministry of Health says the samples were taken during the period September 9th to 12th. Meanwhile, five more people have succumbed to the virus, bringing the death toll to date to 1,381. The number of active cases of COVID-19 in the country is now 3,827. To date, 443,563 people are now fully vaccinated. Meanwhile, the Southwest Regional Health Authority has administered at least a quarter of the total COVID-19 vaccines supplied by the Ministry of Health. This from Chief Executive Officer of the SWRHA, Dr. Brian Armour. Well, we can say that, excluding the Johnson & Johnson, we have given uh, uh, about 135,000 first dose shots. And of the second doses, that includes the Johnson & Johnson, because after the second dose for the two-shot regime, you're fully vaccinated thereafter. And Johnson and Johnson, we have given 108,000 um, average doses thereabouts. Dr. Armour has noticed a 77% uptake in vaccines among healthcare workers, including those belonging to the clinical and administrative sectors. He also revealed a new outreach initiative to vaccinate shut ins and elderly residing in rural communities. Yes, we have that list of persons available from our health centers, but we know persons who don't easily attend the health center or attend private healthcare. They also have shots in. So this is a call to, again, utilize our infographic. And you could call us or send an email and certainly up, just follow the, the directions. And therefore, we will reach to you. Dr. Armour said they have vaccinated 223 shut-ins since the initiative started. 